Howdy everyone, George Shively back with you from South Shore Marine Electronics. Uh, our next project boat here is going to be the uh, a 1995 40 foot Sea Ray. Um, as you can see the instrumentation that's on the boat is pretty much um, original to when the boat was um, manufactured. The uh, the BNG quad there in the corner, the uh, Raymarine 398 or Raytheon, excuse me, uh, NAV 398 GPS. Um, new thruster was installed, um, the Ray Pilot 650, and the um, Ray Chart 601 XX coupled to an R21 XX. Um, all of that is going to basically be coming out. We're going to keep the Ray Pilot um, right here, and um, we're going to be keeping the VHF radio, which was recently replaced. Um, but everything up here is basically going to be coming out, including. Um, we're going to be taking out the panels here, the fascias, um, because we're going to be replacing those um, with new ones so that everything matches. Um, because we have to cut a new one for where the main instrument area. We're also going to be having that engraved. If you look over here, you can see where the systems monitor is, which is kind of standard on the older Sea Rays like this. Uh, we're going to get the new panel engraved. Um, and um, that's it. So just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like here at the beginning before we get started. We're also going to be doing a fair amount of AV work on this boat. Um, so uh, that's yet to come, but for this part of the project it's, uh, it's just uh, navigation. Uh, the owners decided to go with a new uh, Garmin 8000 system, which will be mounted uh, where the uh, um, radar display currently is. We'll probably have to sacrifice this trim, vinyl trim around the edge. Um, but that's where that's going to be displayed. Um, so, just kind of wanted to give you an overview before we get started. We'll check back in as we usually do. Hello everyone, we're back on the uh, 400 Sea Ray, 1995 400 Sea Ray. As you can see, the uh, dash has been opened up here. Um, all the uh, old equipment has been removed. Um, we're in the process of having a new uh, panel um, engraved for this area so that the, um, uh, the Sea Ray uh, uh, monitoring system, which is right there, can get remounted and uh, have the, the engraving that go along with that so we know what that uh, what the LEDs are saying. What we're going to be working on now is removing all of the gauges that you see uh, in the upper panel here um, because we're replacing the fascia so that this will match with the new fascia where the uh, uh, electronics are going to go. Uh, that's kind of a time-consuming part of the project because there's a, a fair amount of wires on the back side of that as you can see and every single one of those wires has to come off and uh, um, then all the gauges get removed and um, a new fascia cut and then everything put back together. So that's somewhat time-consuming but uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, so we've got uh, a lot of wire here and there and uh, very much in the midst of uh, making the conversion to uh, uh, the new systems that will be on board. So kind of wanted to give you a brief uh, look at what's going on. We'll be back soon. Howdy folks, we're back on board the 400 Sea Ray, the 1995 400 Sea Ray. Um, as you can see here I've constructed a new uh, fascia here uh, that's uh, certainly a little bit nicer looking than the one that was in place. It's not all faded and Sunbeat, um, so we wanted to make sure that the overall size of that fit, which it does, it's just kind of up there uh, loosely at this point, but uh, it fits just fine, and um, uh, all of the new instruments will uh, then be cut into that. As you can see at the back, we've got the old template there, and uh, we're going to cut all the instruments in, and then put that back in place. So, uh, yesterday we went ahead and cleared off the uh, uh, radar up on the arch, so no more radar for the time being. Uh, got that cleaned up, and uh, today we'll be installing the new radar dome and uh, continuing to do some work down in the cabin to prepare for the uh, the TVs. We haven't been down here yet, but uh, we had to uh, do some work in the cabin here in preparation for the new TVs. Had to take out the old amplifier for the TV, which is located where in the same area that the original uh, tube TV was located, 
we're going to fashion a door for that and make that another storage space for the uh, the galley area and we will be putting the new TV um, in that area um, so that's that's going to work out very well so um, that's about it from the boat for the time being uh, we'll touch bases soon howdy everyone George Shively with you back here on the uh, 40 Express Cruiser uh, we've got the uh, the new fascia cut and uh, it's looking real nice. Uh, all the gauges are mounted back into it. We now have to take the uh, the wiring harness, which is uh, back here, and attach all those lovely connections to the uh, the new gauges. Of course, because those gauges um, have to come out through the front, uh, they can't go through the back. And of course, all the wires have to be disconnected and then reconnected. Um, if I lay the uh, bring the other panel up here, you can see it. The uh, the big difference between the old kind of tired, sun-worn panel and the new um, panel, it's going to look real sharp. Um, especially when you factor in, there's going to be a new electronics panel, um, kind of where this one's sitting right here now, down in this area, which will match uh, new engraving. So it's going to be real sharp. So that's uh, kind of where we're at right now. We've done a lot of infrastructure work. If you look down the bottom here, you see a bunch of wires coming out of the bottom of the helm. Um, a lot of wiring, sensors, NEMA 2000 work, fuel sensors, uh, running new um, uh, or cabling for the uh, uh, antenna system, boat's uh, antenna system. Um, we've got the, uh, the radar up top just about uh, installed. We still have some work to do on that. We've put a new um, uh, nav light on um, because the other one really wasn't fitting properly. Kind of cleaned everything off the top with the exception of a new uh, Glomex TV antenna, broadcast TV antenna. Um, we're going to be replacing that hailer uh, as well. So, uh, making headway here, slowly but surely, and uh, just kind of wanted to stop in and kind of show you some of the things that uh, we've been working on since we uh, last talked. We'll be back soon. Hey folks, we're back again. The uh, new panel's installed. I just kind of wanted to give you a heads up on what that looks like. Really does a lot to bring up the, uh, the date of the boat, if you will. Um, you know, when the new panel goes in below where the old electronics were, going to clean all that gippa out of there and put in the new panel. Um, it's really going to make the boat look like a, a modern boat and not just uh, one that's all faded and, uh, and tired. So, just wanted to give you a nice look at how that uh, can really make the, uh, the helm of a Sea Ray, uh, or any boat for that matter, really just kind of come alive. So, back soon. Okay, we just got the uh, the lower portion of the helm put back on here with all the uh, the new gauges connected, and it's uh, it's turned out pretty well. Um, the uh, the new uh, engraving for the systems monitor, the Sea Ray systems monitor, came out real nice. A uh, new autopilot, the Furno autopilot uh, FAP711. Um, that's a nice unit. Um, should be able to get that one powered up there momentarily. Yep, there it comes. Um, well, it's a display coming alive. There it is. It takes a second for the camera to adjust. But and uh, we have a um, a GMI 10 from uh, Garmin. Uh, that's going to probably start blinking here, yeah, because we're out of the water, so we don't have an accurate depth. Um, thruster control, which was there before, it had a larger bezel around it before. We've gone ahead and removed that because uh, it looks nicer just by itself there against the uh, the new burl wood and the, uh, the existing Raymarine uh, VHF radio. That used to be down here to the right of the helm. We're uh, creating a cover piece to go over that, um, to cover that hole and the related little screw holes that are, are there. So that'll be all be covered up. Just makes it a whole lot easier having it in this location because, um, you know, from, a uh, uh, from the perspective of the, the helmsman, either the helmsman can easily grab the microphone and talk on the radio or the person sitting next to the helmsman can do that. Um, with the radio all the way over in the right corner there, uh, really only the helmsman could use it. So uh, we've got our NEMA 2000 network uh, up and running. Uh, let me see if I can't get some light here. So we'll get some light in there and show you uh, all the number of things, the XM connection, the GPS, the, uh, the pilot uh, compass depth sensor, uh, connection to the pilot uh, over in that area, more NEMA 2000 uh, connections, and there's actually a couple more uh, uh, to go there. So the uh, the space there at the top, which is where the radar used to be, I think I alluded to this before, but there's going to be a, a, a new Garmin 8212, um, which is going to go in that area. 
and that has, hasn't been released yet, so we're waiting on that, but that should be out in a couple weeks, so we'll have that, and that's where that will go. But the, uh, the helm is in place here, and I uh, just kind of wanted to uh, step back and uh, give you a look at that. It really, I mean, with, with the new uh, burl material that's in there, it really gives it a, a sharp look. So, um, and then as I said, all we've got to do is put the, uh, the new um, Garmin MFD in that location and tie that into the network, and uh, we're set to go. So, um, we're not done yet. We're getting close, but uh, just want to show you how things look at this point, and we'll be back soon. Back on the um, 400 Express Cruiser here, just want to show you a quick glance at what we did here inside of the, uh, the master stateroom, the V-Berth here. This used to have one of the... Um, you know CRT televisions with a built-in VCR. What we did was we went ahead and put in a, a flat panel like we've done in the uh, uh, other areas of the boat and then we um, created a essentially a blanking panel there in the center which matches quite nicely with the two um, pieces of equipment and then on the very bottom there we put in a, um, a Samsung Blu-ray player so um, you know with just enough space to be able to service it if necessary but uh, uh, there really was no way, other way, short of relaminating that whole area with um, with new laminate, and that, from a financial standpoint, was not a consideration. So what we were able to do is uh, just basically close off that small area, and uh, you know, of course, there's at the top there's there's no uh, there's no gap at the top, uh, and that's right against the uh, right against the wall there. So. Uh, we fabricated a special mount and then attached that to the uh, the TV and then built a bracket behind so that that would um, be able to affix there and look nice. So just kind of wanted to show you what we did here in the master stateroom and we'll be back. And we're back on the 40 Express Cruiser. Just want to show you another aspect that we've gotten involved with here on the boat. We basically finished up the uh, the navigation electronics as we've showed you before. We're waiting on the display for the uh, uh, the main... Uh, the main MFD, um, and we noticed that uh, the owner had started uh, putting a, a laminate floor in uh, in the boat, but he had not done the hatches. And uh, as most people do, they get busy, they get tied up, and uh, it's gone on for a couple of years, and he never finished it. Well, himself, his wife, his kids, everyone would like to have it done. So I said, "Well, I'm capable of doing that," and uh, that's what we're doing. So um, you can see the hatches, kind of standard hatches on a 40 Express Cruiser. Uh, we've got the one done here and trimmed out um, and uh, that's how we're we're doing it. So just wanted to show you another aspect uh, that we're working on here on the boat that uh, certainly isn't related to electronics but is related to attention to detail and just uh, taking your time and doing a nice job. So uh, that's what we're trying to do and um, so far the owners are very happy. So we'll be back. Howdy folks, one last uh, visit here to the uh, 1995 400 Sea Ray Express Cruiser here. We've uh, finally got the uh, the new uh, Garmin 8212 in place. We had to wait a little bit for that. The owner had elected to wait for that. Uh, just an amazing system, a multi-touch system. Go ahead and hit charts. You can, uh, you know, just like on an iPhone, excuse the, the display there running, but it's a little issue with... Uh, iPhone video and taking a picture here but you can take this and you can zoom in just like this just like you would do on an iPhone zoom out it's pretty it's pretty amazing um, it's very fast it's very smooth so um, really an amazing system it uh, was well worth the wait of course the uh, the uh, VHF radio as you can see there it's got the coordinates on it interfaced into the GPS and the other pieces we went over before, the, uh, the GMI-10 data repeater autopilot and uh, re redo of the, the helm fascia panels there. Uh, we're also going to be doing that down in this area. The owner's decided he wanted to do that as well. owner also decided, usually I'd, I'd hang a mic clip here, but the owner decided to just leave that kind of lay there in the, the crevice and uh, that would be fine. So this is the last view here on the uh, 1995 400 Express Cruiser turned out real good. The uh, weight was certainly worth it for the uh, the new 8212, an amazing machine. As always, George Shively, South Shore Marine Electronics, 216-407-6553, or email 
at South Shore Marine Electronics at oh.rr.com. Thank you very much.